this is for smoothest smoothie. Most protein-packed smoothie. Ooh, tootiest, fruitiest smoothie. Every berry cleared up pretty quickly for that one. Woo! Woo! Wow, Orange, that is a lot of trophies. But not all of them. I've won every trophy at the Splendidly Scrumptious Smoothie Competition except one. Most creative smoothie. Huh. How come? I like structure, rules, goals. Creativity is just making stuff up. How can you win at that? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Orange needs a crash course in creativity. I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> uh, you sure about this, Shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... There are no rules! <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, just give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Taste the fruit. No! Be the fruit. None of this makes any sense! Kinda of pretty? You're getting it. Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Ooh, uh, how high did you turn it up? Berries, stop your blending. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for Worst Smoothie goes to... Orange Blossom! Worst Smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative! My own category! Who's the best to be in the worst? Yeah. This bear right here! High five! High five! I guess that's the thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But I am the best at being the worst. <laughs> it's about being you. Exactly. Art is a journey. Eh, just go with it. <gasps> no! <laughs> ah! Not again. It's Sweetie Pie's day. It's Sweetie Pie! The sweetest holiday, aka the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them! AKA love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. <gasps> Tranquil and tasty. Oh, I love you bunches, Blueberry. A chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, Shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is... <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you! Woo! 
to Cocoa Bean or not to Cocoa Bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love, Ooh, feelings, handwritten cards, Ooh, writing about feelings, and hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate bolt? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Hug Master 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves them. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Hurt. Animal. The best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool, and I am going to win. Bless it up! Every berry touches the golden berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. Three, two, one, go! It's just us now. We are awesome! Ready to give up? Never! Hey, what do you think is inside of this anyway? Oh, an endless supply of books. <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way. It's a Slicer ZX Kimisaki dirt bike. Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention, the machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. Oh. 
So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once, then disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> Sprinkles! Wait, no, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. Coconut flakes with a pinch of... Uh, strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! So I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... the MC. Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Ooh, let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice? A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? Say good morning, Custard. How rude of me. It's my first weekend in Big Apple City. I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me.
classes in one yoga class, and then I am good to go. Perfect. As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep. Aunt Praline is taking me out for a girls' night. W-O-W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really flowy fantasy. That's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear. You got this girl, so don't despair. Time to get you ready for the spotlight. Be your fair free best. Shine brighter than the rest. Be the finest fairy on display. Be glamorous, be loud. Be the one to wow the crowd. Be your very best and wear the day. Really Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Be your free best. Don't worry, don't be stressed. Find a look that makes you feel like you. Shine brighter than a star just by being who you are. That's the very best thing you can do. You look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> 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 my costume is perfect. Fright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows. <laughs> right, Custard? <laughs> I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Frightfall Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries no berry does Frightfall like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <coughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Frightfall Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's fall ball. But Raspberry Tart said... <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? 
I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow, Custard. We're dressed up for Frightfall. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Right time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time, time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. Shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! Shortcake, you gonna let us in? So, it's the Berry Bounty Banquet, and I accidentally invited my Berry Bessie's entire families, but it was fine because Aunt Praline and I made it work, but then this lucky spoon caused a chain reaction that destroyed the apartment, and my friends and their families are all outside, and everything is ruined! You are not lucky, spoon. You are bad. Shortcake! Me? Okay, fine, I'll go. Hi, every fairy! <laughs> What's up? What's up? We're here for the banquet. Everything all right? <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh, Orange, is your friend okay? I don't really know. We can do this! Give me two minutes and duct tape! <laughs> yep, she's lost it. <laughs> Fluffy Chiffon, one of Lime's dance? I hear you have some interesting flavors in that fabulous ice cream cart of yours. Oh, uh, weird flavors that make no uh, sense. Mom, everything bagel is doing it again. Make him stop. Did Blueberry just get mad? <laughs> hey, now, it's like I always say to my little lemon zest, there's always a positive way to express feelings. Lemon's dad talks about feelings? Ugh, lemon zest. What? Like you don't get embarrassed by your family? <sighs> Shortcakes, let us in. It is getting weird out here. It's getting weird in here, too. We have a blowtorch. <laughs> What's up? Shortcakes, spill. Spill? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, spill? <laughs> 
Spill what? My spoon destroyed the apartment and ruined the food, and I think the pressure broke my hand, and it's all my fault the banquet's ruined! <laughs> <laughs> Why is every berry laughing? Holidays never go the way you expect. Oh, I could tell you stories. Sweetie, remember when Lom wanted to stay up and fell asleep in her mashed potatoes? She woke up with a potato mustache. <laughs> Dad! A situation like this is a good character builder. The lesson we have to take away from this... Lessons later, babe. I'm hungry. Just show us what we can do. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I, I'm starving. You tried to hide everything. We're family. We fix our problems together. I can't believe it worked out. I knew it would. Uh-huh. What? Lucky spoon. If it wasn't for the lucky spoon, none of this would have happened. And isn't this kind of perfect? Oh. Yeah, it really kind of is. <laughs> Sorry, I doubted you. No, with all the yelling. My strawberry pies. I set them out to cool and look. I even put a sign out. Hot pies. Only eat when cool. But now some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh. I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue. Take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Hum. <clears throat> also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. <sighs> yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. Checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on. Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. 
Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? Not, not even a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, uh, totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> pies do taste better this way. Another mystery solved. It really was nice of Aunt Praline to give me her old food truck to get started in Big Apple City. It's just that the truck needed a little more work than she realized. Okay, Custard, we can make this work. We just need oh, to... Oh, um, gumdrops! What is that? Hi, my name is Strawberry Shortcake, and I... Yeah, no. I'm not doing peppy and cheerful this early in the morning. Get this thing off Berryworks property before some berry thinks we're the city's new garbage dump. Oh, well, actually, this is my food truck. I mean, sure, it needs a bit of work, but I was gonna... Let me stop you. This is the Berry Works. It's trendy, it's chic, and it's my job to keep it that way. That pile of junk doesn't belong here, and neither do you. Whoa! This might be the worst day ever. I can take that off your hands. Name's Lemon Meringue. I love junk, and that is some quality junk. I actually need this junk. I mean truck. It's going to be my new bakery. Oh, so you want to be our competition. I didn't think. I don't want to be. Just playing. I love competition the way Lemon loves junk. I'm Orange Blossom. Strawberry Shortcake. Nice to meet you, Shortcakes. Let me guess. Fresh off the bus? I got here yesterday. Welcome to Big Apple City. I think you'll find most berries here are pretty friendly. I heard we have a brand new fairy! Hi, I'm Lime Chiffon. If you have any questions about, well, anything, come to me. I'm kind of an expert on, well, everything. You smell friendly. I have a good feeling about you. We all have shops here at the Berry Works. I run the Citrus Slice Smoothie Cart. Most energy-fueled smoothies in town. Blueberry Muffin runs the Dreamery Creamery ice cream cart. This month's featured flavor is Raindrop Raisin Drizzle. It tastes like the forest smells right after a thunderstorm. But with raisins. That is definitely unique, yes. And Lemon Meringue and I work at the Lemon Lime Time Cart. If you ever need any... <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, you okay? Sorry, but Big Apple City's just been a little overwhelming, and you're all just so nice, especially after that berry was so mean this morning. Ugh, bread pudding. Ignore him. We do. He called my truck garbage. Huh? Well, he's not wrong. <sighs> but it does have good energy. Adding baked goods to the mix could be good for business. If I can't take it apart, might as well put it together. Really? You'll help me? What are new berry buddies for? <laughs> this might be the best day ever. Again, I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my food truck, the Extraordinary Berry. I'm new here, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I belong. Mm, nice color, cute name, fun garden. I suppose this will do, but I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> 
everything is going fantastic at Berry Works. Huckleberry Pie is fitting right in, and even bread pudding is cooled off. Mm-hmm. 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 No, here, let me hear it. Mm. Yes. No. What's wrong with the little music? It's a lot of music everywhere. I can't escape it. Just stay by your... You don't have a cart. Nope. I go where the song takes me. <laughs> Thing is, all Berry Works vendors need carts. No cart? No you. <sighs> no sad strumming without a cart. Bread pudding is correct. Every berry working needs a cart. <gasps> That's it! Huck can just work at one of our carts. It's a total win-win. Huck gets to stay, we get the help. Three blue blasts, two green meanies, one orange deluxe. Got that, Huck? Orders. I need a large lemon lime barrigade blaster. Extra syrup, half ice. You need a small? Large. Extra syrup, half syrup. Half a berry. Half ice. Uh, got it. Right, right, right. Uh, blast the syrup. No! <laughs> uh, Maybe help lemon instead? Wrench. Uh, no, no. No. Where did the chicken come from? Oh. Inspire us with creative new flavors. Oh, close your eyes. What do you see? I see vanilla. Uh, anything else? Vanilla ice cream. Maybe something more daring? Vanilla ice cream in a cone. Mind blown. Your energy is simple. You should share it with the world. Just not here. Okay, let's see how you do baking orders. The oven gets hot quickly, so... Make sure you use oven mitts. And... I think the mitts right hot. What is happening? Nothing. It's good that music's my passion. I'm no good at anything else. I'm really, really sorry, Huck. No tears, my song will never end Because I have you, my awesome friends Who love my art, with or without a cart. <gasps> That's it! Instead of Huck working in our carts, we needed to help him get one of his own. The Huckleberry Pie Variuki Cart! You all did this for me? Wow. Why are you still here? I told you, no cart, no way. And there is nothing that can change. Look, Brad, the girls made me my very own Berryoki music cart. Berryoki? Berry, berry, so contrary. Shake it up, pick it up, forgive me if I make it up, or you're gonna whisk me away. Chocolate and rum raisin? Been done. Pineapple and grass. Too sour. Coming up with unique ice cream flavors isn't easy. You have to clear your mind and let the universe guide you to something truly taste-tastic. Caramel and relish. <laughs> Some days the universe isn't very helpful. Hmm, I'll try this and this and this. Too many flavors. So cold. <laughs> Okay, Blueberry, I've got a butter cake that needs a little something extra. And that something extra is ice cream. I mean, 
mean it's a vanilla butter cake, and the only ice cream flavor I can think of to go with it is vanilla. And I mean, come on! Vanilla on vanilla is just so obvious. And I don't want to be obvious, so I do not want vanilla. But what flavor do I want? You're the expert. What should I do? Vanilla. Right. That's what I don't want. <laughs> Blueberry, are you okay? <gasps> Cheesecake! Blueberry's frozen! No, not just frozen! She's got brain freeze! Why didn't you tell me? Blueberry is usually so creative, she comes up with flavors no berry would think of. But not if she's got brain freeze. I have got to unfreeze her so she can get back to brainstorming brilliant ice cream for me. I mean herself. to thaw her out. At least we can snack while we wait. Marshmallow and cheese. Yeesh! <laughs> that is an interesting combo. I mean, Blueberry would love it if she ever snaps out of this whole frozen thing. If the campfire doesn't work, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe some sort of song or... Oh, maybe some hot peppers. Yeah, that could... Ow! It's not about warming up her body. It's about warming up her creativity with something weird, wacky. <gasps> this sweet, cheesy, smoky combo should do the trick. Cheesecake, why didn't you think of this? Humph. Go tapioca, I love it! Marshmallows, cheese, and smoke. The perfect pairing of sweet and savory. I'll call it Camembert Campfire. Crunch. Yeah! Woo! My butter cake is saved! <laughs> huh. Camembert Campfire Crunch. Okay. Love it! Oh, yeah! Oh, my taste buds! So, yeah, I went with vanilla on vanilla. Thanks, Custard. This is a very important cupcake order. Oh, uh, not now, Custard. I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Charades. 
words. Okay, two words. One word. Sounds like... Day? Forgot what? This way. Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard. Earth Day. <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day. Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. <laughs> Earth Day. <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday. Oh. Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't you notice me say these needed to be perfect? or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order. Aww. <laughs> Lemon! That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> Lemon, stop eating those! Oh, you scared the strawberries out of me! That's the idea! It's nearly frightful! It's my first frightful in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creep. Cupcake! I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yup, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. Some folks say his spirit still roams the berry works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake-obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake is scared of ghosts! Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget! Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Ooh, just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop wavering! Plant. <laughs> oh, it's a rusty sign, strawberry. <laughs> You're just gonna, gonna get it together. <laughs> be like blueberry, be like blueberry, be like blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing? Seriously? <laughs> Dares bake in my present. Me? No, no baking here. It is you, strawberry shortcake. <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville. <laughs> <laughs> The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the berry works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. I 
Oh, hey. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Whoa, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! What are you doing? Oh, and gumdrops. You three are the reincarnated spirit of J. Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. My first very New Year's Eve in Big Apple City. This is going to be the best night ever! Right, Berries? Why are we out in the cold again? Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, a New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Granberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? No berry believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day. Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment. Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Anna K. Karenina. World peas. So every berry has access to healthy snacks. A year filled with explosions. <laughs> 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 what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's there down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> Ow! Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. Ah, nice. Warm. Too specific, too fantastical, too retro. This is a New Year's wish. It needs to be just right. <sighs> ah! uh, who will pinch me if I fall asleep? 32? 33? Ooh, guys, I think I have it narrowed down to the top 10 best wishes. Oh, yeah. How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what... Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star too? Of course. My grandmama marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's, Year's wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always comes true. true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes, I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry? Berry, where you at? If you tell any berry that I made a wish, I will... totally find some way to embarrass you. Very happy New Year, Big Apple City. Lemon, <gasps> ah! your poppers! Winter.
Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth, goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Oh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but Winter Swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift from my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition. Because if it was, I'd clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I love it. Is there more? Up to you. That's the gift. We make this song together. A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. <sighs> don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Merry berries far and near. And all around us, winter swirling. So many things we can do. Deck the halls and shopping too. It's more fun when I'm with you. And all around us, snow is whirling. Hey! Winter swirling in the air. Nothing outside can compare. It's a holiday without you. The magic is swirling all around. Joy I found that I have found it's true. What's a holiday without you? All the sounds and smells are sweet. Time to break up all the treats. Every berry loves to eat. And all around us, winter swirling. you give. It's about who you give it to. And Huck gave us all something really special. But I still give really great gifts. Becoming the best baker in the world is my big dream. And big dreams need big places to come true, which is why I left my adorably tiny hometown of Berryville and came to... Hey, hey. Oh, uh, what, what, did, what did you ask me again? If I could scoot past you... Oh, yes, right. Of course, yeah, you just... Okay. Obviously, I'm very excited to follow my dream to all new adventures in my all new home. Every aspiring baker knows that to get discovered, there's only one place to go. Big Apple City! Custard, we're here! A city that's always cooking. It's magical, it's magnificent, it's lady crowded. Whoa, so many berries, excuse me. Whoops, <laughs> coming through. <laughs> Oopsie, whoa. There's my favorite niece. <gasps> Aunt Praline. Ooh. Aunt Praline is my 
my super, super cool aunt. When I told her I wanted to move to the big city, she uh, said I could stay with her and she'd help get everything I need to succeed. <laughs> She's the very best. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crab apple jam. Kiki key, key, key lime. Peculiar purple lime and no way. <gasps> the biggest names in baking all got their start right here. Sure did. And the next big name is... Strawberry Shortcake. Shortcake. I can't wait to get started. A fresh new start. A dash of nerves, a pinch of uh, uh, uh. Okay. First piece of advice, skip the heartfelt song. There's no time. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Every single day, fresh-faced berries arrive in the city. Everyone wants to be the next big thing in baking. You want to be the best? You got to be smarter, faster, focused. Keep your eye on the prize. Right. Focused. Wow. Fortunately for you, your in-the-know aunt knows the inside scoop. For example, not every berry knows the first stop in the city has to be the Berry Works. The what? The Berry Works. Obviously, it's the hottest spot in the city. It has shops, restaurants, and it's where bakers go to get discovered. It's also where my niece is going to get her start in her very own food truck. Aunt Praline, that sounds fantastic. And I'm sure that once I get settled, I'll be ready tomorrow. to- Tomorrow. Excuse me, tomorrow? Tomorrow. But, 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 but I just got here. I've barely seen the city. I definitely don't have a food truck and... Oh, trust me, you gotta just dive in. And you just let me worry about the truck. Now get some rest, tomorrow's a big day. Love you so much. Okay. Wasn't expecting my dreams to take off quite this fast. But you, you gotta dive in, right? Yeah, okay, I'm ready. I can't wait to see this truck. What? Ta-da! My old truck, the Praline Dream. Ultimately, food trucks were not my jam, okay? But now you can take the truck and make your dreams come true. <laughs> All right, hop in, kiddo. Next stop, the Berry Works. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but hey, it has character. Wow. Good luck. You're leaving? Mayor Molasses is announcing a new Sparkberry factory, and he can't even find the stage without me. But you've got this. I'm already proud. You text me later, okay? Bye! Okay, Custard, we've got this. <laughs> Woo! Yep, okay, that's not good. Yeah, I'm delicious. Yeah. Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay. Let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. tubes in your truck! Powerful, energy efficient! This oven is not messing around! I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad of shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon, let's see what your oven can do.
Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon, <laughs> maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! <laughs> Huh. Maybe I can turn it down. A little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? Run! Fudge turned out great. I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm -hmm. Smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on! Okay. Pink. Introducing the Berry Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. Uh, I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though, even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> No berry. Jen oh. ah! Boslin Crumb is coming! She is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a berry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? <laughs> Cake pops? Because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfoglia tail between my legs. See what I did there? Sfoglia tail Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Jen Waz, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then thanks. Okay, then I'm going to keep an eye out for Jen Waz. <gasps> uh huh. That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right! And her hideous, wide-brimmed hat. Whoa! Yeah, that is not how I picture Jen was at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you! <laughs> I, uh... Hello there! I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar! I'm... I know who you are. <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets, Cake Pop. I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. Go ahead, sugar. Cake my day. 
Oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your cranberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Shoulda known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out-of-town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up! Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> There, there. Presenting my world famous Choco Mint Pie! I just need to clip some leaves from my mint on the roof. Ah! How did this happen? Yeah, that mint grew fast. If it isn't carefully tended to, it can run over anything in its path. I can take care of that easy peasy. With what? Clippers? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Incineray 5000. I'll go get it. Have you seen Lemon use that thing? Wait up, Lemon. Let me help you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see this ending well. There are less destructive ways to take care of an overgrown plant. Clint would never forgive himself if anything happened to his friends. Clint? Who's Clint? The mint! You know I speak plant. I think I speak for all plants when I say plants can't speak. According to Farmer Fig's latest guide to gardening, the first thing we need to do is trim the vines. Wait! You can't cut his vines now! Clint's playing rock, paper, scissors. Great move. Another W for the Clintster. <laughs> yes, Gerald, I know a piece of paper wouldn't beat a rock in real life. This guy. Farmer Fig says spraying a solution of salt, soap, and vinegar will tame unwanted plant growth. Clint, old chum, I'm here for you. Tell this berry what we should do. Whoa, you're trying to make Clint sad. Soap, salt, and vinegar smells real bad. Mm. Clint says I should go on tour. Oh, what a charmer. We'll never get this done if Blueberry shoots down every idea. Then maybe ask her what she thinks. She thinks she speaks plant. We don't always need to agree with our friends. Just listen to them. Blueberry, what do you think we should do? It's not about me. Let's ask Clint. Just so you know, Farmer Fig says that if we dig the mint roots up, we can... Move, move it into, into its, its own, own pot! pot. <gasps> Did you just agree with Farmer Fig? No. Clint agreed with Farmer Fig. He also said he'd be most comfortable if you did the digging lime. He trusts you. You're really smart. for the leaves, Clint. Bye, Clint. I still don't believe that plants can talk. But it was nice of you to say it was smart. Thank you, Clint. <gasps> Aww. And done. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> All right, it's incinerate time. <laughs> Actually, Blueberry and Lime work together to take care of the mint. But I saved you some pie. Let's do this! Or pull! <laughs> oh, I meant for you to eat that. I love the smell of burnt pie in the morning. 
Anybody else done? Turkey roasting? Check. You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah. I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City. A small, delicious celebration. Ugh. Uh, Aunt Praline, um, do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Well, I want every berry there. Me familia es tu familia. Maybe. There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Yes. There is no way we can do this. I'll just, I'll text. Them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know, time. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam. We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed. That's when we're at our best. And if your world feels like it's crashing down, we'll turn it back around. We'll turn it back around. Impossible, but trust me, we're unstoppable. The two of us won't ever fall. Get out of our way. Together, we are number one. Turn problems into something fun. Before you know, we will be done. We're saving the day. Don't ever think that you're going under. We never give up. Very show them that thunder. And if your world feels like it's crashing down. Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> you were saying? is the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton, carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. 
course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. Seriously? You insisted! I insisted because I thought you'd insist a bit more on return! Wow, orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Wow. Did I mention Orange is fast? But hey, she's not going to beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lading? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, I don't, don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make try money and I'll lose my baking confidence forever! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Clumcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangosteen's. <laughs> Shortcake and her trusty sous chef custard. Custard? Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What, what is it? Caramel popcorn! I yell when I'm hungry too. I was busy and custard wandered off and now I can't find her, which makes me a terrible person. And an even worse cat, Mom. Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, Frappe! Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? Meow. Custard! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 
of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of Tutti Fruity Toucans who flew down from the Forbidden Fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti Fruity Toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the Forbidden Fruitlands. The Forbidden Fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like, why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the Berry Works for years. No Berry Guardians, no Toucans, no Magic Whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History says... All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <laughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. <laughs> um, what were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that Tutti Fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes! And they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really good. It's fitting we're here at the Cuban Time Museum of Modern Art. Let's see how our bakers did. I love Fight of the City. Kiki Key Lime goes all over Big Apple City finding the best bakers. Could there be a more perfect show for me? As these cupcakes show, today's contestants proved a great baker needs to be a great artist as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you so get me, Kiki. Do you have what it takes to be the very best in baking? Oh, I do. Then I can't wait to come to your neighborhood and take a bite of the city. <sighs> Hello, is there a baker in there? Yes, Kiki Key Lime, there really is. Behind you, actually. <gasps> I'm just so happy that you're there, and it's just you're my favorite person. I love you lots. <laughs> I get that a lot. Hi, I'm in a rush to my next shoot, but I do need a quick bite. What have you got? Okay, okay, I can do this. I can totally do this. Don't freak out. Just take a deep breath. <gasps> Today, I am serving Lady Fingers. My cranberry jam taught me how to... Oh, I love Lady Fingers. But I'm wondering if you could add some organic hand-pressed key lime juice. And you know what I love? A hint of Costa Rican coffee where the beans have been sung to. They just have that extra oomph, you know? Also, could you throw on just a dollop of mascarpone cheese? If you can't, it's totally fine. But if you can, that would be more fine. Just need to grab some ingredients. It should take me. I have two minutes and 36 seconds. Custard, you're in charge. Orange, tell me you have key limes, please. Nope, just regular limes today. Can you juice it for me? Sure thing. Uh -uh. Hand juice it, please. Okay. Mm you're the best, I owe you a cake. Sometimes it's easier not to ask. Lemon! Lime! Do you have Costa Rican beans that have been sung to? Why would I sing to coffee beans? There's no time for crazy questions! Seriously, who sings to beans? Everybody knows you read to them. Um, it was the best of beans. It was the worst of beans. No time! Lemon beans! Oh, hot! The best things in life. That'll do it! I owe you all five! That was weird, right? <laughs> Blueberry! No need. 
The universe has spoken. Mascarpone ice cream awaits. But how did you... Shh. You must go. I owe you some cookies. <laughs> Constructed tiramisu, delicious. That hit the spot. Extraordinary berry, huh? I'll remember that. Bye. Did you hear that, Custard? She'll remember that we did it. Now we can just relax and bask in the glow of this fantastic moment. Ahem. <laughs> Aren't you? Getting something? Pies. That something is pies. Right after I bake those thank you desserts. <laughs> <laughs> is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. Start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to. <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry. Hi. 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 I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry. What you gonna do? Lost little berry. Help is gonna find you. Hey there. You okay? Hi. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your Pet rat, help me. Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you. I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new, and I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear Oh, you'll be fine Not sure what I should do, it's all unclear Just take your time But what if I choose wrong And mess up this cute song? Well, then we'll start again, it's no big deal Just try a little something new And I promise when you do as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through So try a little something new And I promise when you do It's gonna be all okay Cause I believe in you So suddenly I feel a lot less stressed Hey, there you go You know, be brave and choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! 
Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> Cupcakes for Sweetie Pie Preschool's annual bake sale, baked and ready by five o'clock today. Ha oh. Sorry. Wow, you look terrible. You should really go rest. I can't. I need to get these cupcakes done. It's for the kids. <gasps> How about we help with the baking? Every berry needs some berry sometimes, shortcakes. I don't know if that's the best. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh. Ah! Oh. Okay, fine. Orange, you're gonna weigh out the dry ingredients here. Lemon, you stand here and combine the wet ingredients, and then we're gonna pass it to Blueberry. Wow, you really captured my aura. Uh, don't worry. We got this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go rest of the clubhouse. Text me if you need anything. And don't forget, an extra large egg is better than a regular large egg. All right, girls. Let's make our sweet, but very easily stressed out friend proud. Let's yeah. do this. <gasps> it's like looking in a mirror. Blueberry, focus. Did you hear that? It said my name. Hmm, if I use the best methods from each book, I'll make perfect cupcakes. Butter must be super cold, got it? <gasps> huh? Wait, this says room temperature butter is best. Which is it? Wait! <laughs> <sighs> no recipes, no rules. Just me and Egg Sheeran. Riding. Five cups of sugar? That's unhealthy. How about no cups of sugar? <gasps> and maybe some powdered veggies to add some nutrients. <laughs> Yum! So healthy. Thanks, Custard, but I am not tired, so... That's it. Never leave home without my super duper piping bag 3000. Ah, I feel so much better, Custard. You know what? It is so nice to have friends who can be there for you and keep you calm, keep you relaxed, keep you freaking out! What did you do? I'm calling it the unbearable icing of being. Ugh. I never made it past the butter. Oh no, I have to deliver 500 cupcakes uh, now, and nothing is done! Sorry, shortcakes. We tried, but we're just not the bakers you are. But how did this happen? You each did something totally different. You did whatever you wanted without any kind of... Wait a minute. That's it? You guys are geniuses! We are. Is she still hallucinating? <laughs> Looks like my build your own cupcake stand is a hit! And honestly, I never would have come up with the idea if you all hadn't messed up so badly. Thank you for being such terrible bakers! And for helping when I needed it. Anytime. <gasps> Lemon, no! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. Okay, put that there. Over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the very works? Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, would, what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Ugh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. A gift? Woo! And Praline, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... 
What baker doesn't need an extra spoon? Hmm? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! <laughs> get the hang of it. It's a spoon. <laughs> Let's begin. Total truth, Barry. I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Teach me to... <laughs> That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. Sup? Huh, lemon! Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles I need to bake for, peach trifle, I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six! Oh, wait. The Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? <sighs> Don't worry about it. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a Sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my Lucky Spoon, and then I... Lucky Spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. 
You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> you baked it in no time. But don't rush leering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, honeydew sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the cake and eater didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry, that metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the cake and eight or seven? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> another great day! I love our jobs! I'm pumped! Who else is pumped? Oh, I'm pooped. By the time I close up, I have no energy left. You need energy? You ask this berry. You, me, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be epic! Do I have a choice? Nope. It's what friends are for. See you bright and early. Um, what did I agree to? I'm all about being the best me I can be. And now I can help Shortcakes be the best she, she can be. What are berry besties for? Where's the butters and croissants? Morning, Shortcakes! It's 4 a.m., which means it's... Time to sleep four more hours. Let's go, go, go! Get dressed and get a move on! <laughs> this was a mistake. I should have... <laughs> what is all this? Time to work out. So, so let me just get this straight. I tell you I'm exhausted, and your solution is more exhaustion? Huh. Funny. Let's go. Yes. Woo. I am not okay. Shortcakes? Oh. I give up. I still have no energy and it's been what, days? Weeks? 20 minutes. What? Orange, thanks for the offer, but exercise is clearly your thing. And I think we can both agree that it is definitely not my thing. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Friends are supposed to do things they like together, but she hates working out and I love it. I love fitness the way she loves baking. Oh. <laughs> Orange? Why? Come on, I got you. Trust me? Do I have a choice? Huh? What is all this? You'll see. 
working out is not your thing, but fitness is important. And since your thing is baking, we're gonna get you stronger doing what you do best. Go! Another! Again! Push it! You got it! She'll wind down eventually. All right, somebody get me a pad of paper. Let's make a list of workouts for every berry at the Berry Works. It's gonna be epic! Fitness! A fresh new day, sweet dreams to chase. This berry's on a mission to bake her world a better place. She'll make a difference, see it through. Show the world what she can do. She's strawberry shortcake. Country pie. I love it. Things are going fantastic at the Big Apple Berry Works. Apparently, every berry loves my authentic down home baking. I heard about it. I heard that it is so. Ooh, look at me. I'm a simple country berry. I make simple pastries for simple people. And I dress too matchy matchy. What? She does. I don't care how she dresses. She is taking all my customers. We need to show this country pumpkin how things work in Big Apple City. Why? We're your neighbors. I'm Raspberry Tart. That's my truck over there. Oh, and uh, this is Sour Grapes. That's your truck? Oh, and gumdrops. <gasps> so pristine. Wow. It is nothing compared to this thing you've got going on. You're the fresh new fairy on the block. Oh, thank you. So, what can I get you, new food truck friend? Strawberry pie? <gasps> Strawberry strudel? Pano strawberry. That's a new one. We'll take everything you've got left. Everything? Eee! Ooh, uh, 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 uh. I sold out. Who did it? Me, I did it. <gasps> I hope this whole small town country berry thing doesn't get old. What do you mean? Well, this is Big Apple City. You've got to keep things fresh or customers just move on. The country berry bit is cute today, but if it starts to feel stale, it's... Bye-bye, berry. Oh. Shortcakes. What's wrong? I sold out of everything. That's awesome! Awesome today. Tomorrow? Bye-bye, Barry. Hmm. My country Barry bit will get old! Berries will get tired of my baking! The universe put you here for a reason. Why would you think that? <gasps> Mystery solved. Look! Um, raspberry. Come on down to the Raspberry Supreme for authentic country treats. Yeehaw. Oh, no, they did not. Come on, shortcakes. We're fixing this. Raspberry tart, what did you do? What? Berries like my authentic treats better than hers. Your treats? Those are my treats. You bought them and stole my whole, uh, my whole vibe. How dare you? Your treats were strawberry. Mine are strawberry and raspberry and have a bow. See, anyone can do country and the berries have spoken. Uh, hello. 
with strawberry shortcake. You're from the country. Are these authentic? Um, well, the berry who baked these definitely knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe a bit heavy on the raspberry. Mm. Wooey! If y'all like mixing flavors, how about I whip up a batch of my authentic Everberry Country Coffee Cake to give you Cineberries a real treat? Oh! <laughs> Raspberry made me feel like being myself wasn't enough. But then she tried to steal everything that made me, me. You can try passing my treats off as yours, but there's only one authentic Berryville Baker in Big Apple City. And she's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, Berry. I am going to squash that Berry. Well, go get me a napkin. Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. Winter swirl trees should be magical, glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea! Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft. Easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine, what do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, Hey, you! Listen to what I'm saying! Uh, if you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect! You get all that? Uh... Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. <laughs>